Hello everybody, and in today's video, I'm just going to be showing some tool called Tapeman Pro, and it really does a good job at removing malware. So, let's just open up our browser. I mean, I don't have any malware installed currently, but um, I may make a future video of basically with a loaded system of malware. But it is a great tool. Um, it actually shows what antiviruses it uses. I'm quite sure it uses Bitdefender. I know it does. I know. I'm pretty sure it uses Kaspersky. Um, and then some others. Um, it uses its own. I think that's pretty much it. And Sophos. I'm pretty sure. I'm not quite sure. So. Um, I don't think I'm not sure if it uses Sophos or not, but I, I know it uses Bitdefender, and I'm I think yeah I know it uses Kaspersky. Okay, the file is finished downloading. We got it on our desktop here. Now, basically, if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit computer, how basically how to basically check is just click down here. Now, right-click on computer, click on properties, and then you'll see here. You'll see here system type and then it will say 32 bit or 64 bit now you would click on whatever you got here so this is 32 bit and this is 64 bit obviously so and by the way you go to surfright.nl i will put the link in the description to download it i'll put the 62 bit um it's not 62 bit 32 bit and 64 bit version in the description so basically after you do this i just open it up so well obviously you're going to do that so you have some settings here now, I would recommend just unchecking tracking cookies and unchecking this. And, I mean, you should have this checked, but it's not a huge deal. Then I go under advanced and change this to compatible disk access just to make the scan go a bit faster. But I would recommend you just to keep it on direct disk access. Um, the only setting is I'm going to change is tracking cookies and, and um, what is it called? The restore point. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep it at default. I'm going to change this back once this is all activated. Actually, I can do it right here. Okay, there. Okay, it's activated. You just click OK, and then OK. So now you have a 30-day free trial. So basically what this is, is a 30-day trial where you can do scans and remove it, um, remove files, and then after that 30 days, you can still scan, but you cannot remove files. So you're going to have to buy it. I think it's like $24.99 or something. So... I, I wouldn't really pay for this to be honest. I would get something like Malwarebytes free if that was the if that was it, or I'd get Zamana, which is basically the exact same thing as Hitman Pro and even a little bit better. And while scanning, let's check what it's using before the scan actually ends, because it's just going so fast. Okay, it appears that Hitman Pro is using a fair amount of CPU and using about eighty thousand um not 80, 80 meg, which is quite um quite high. Well. Well, the mag isn't a huge deal, but the CPU is like, look at this. Yeah, it's a huge deal. Anyways, Hitman Pro is almost finished, and as you can see, I don't know why this is happening. Whatever. Just, just like this. I don't care. Whatever. Okay. Uh, as you can see, I'll just have this down here or something. I'm using VMware for Windows 7 because it works so much better than VirtualBox for Windows 7. Anyway. You can see no threats were detected. It scanned this. Um, that's where the object scan, file scanned, remaining file objects, I don't know, scanned. And then registry objects scanned. And then the time elapsed. And then how many threats it found. Now you would have, if you had a thread on here, you would see a next button. You would just click next. It would say, it would say removing or creating a restore point if you didn't change that one setting that I was showing you. And then it, you would see a reboot option, which after that you should click on reboot. So basically, that's how you use Hitman Pro, guys. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed today's video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. And have a good day or night. It's getting late. As you can see, it's 12.22 in the morning. So it's getting really late over here. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. And goodbye.